Hi ladies, how are you? How is everyone? How is everyone? Hi Mary Ellen, aloha to you too. Welcome to my mess. And I'm sorry for the dogs barking, that's my neighbor's dogs as always. Hi Mary Ellen, aloha to you too. Welcome to my mess. Didn't have my camera turned off. Hi, Hattie Poe. Hi, Linda. So how are you guys? Oh, you guys, I am, I am I'm almost at the home stretch of my most stressful thing. And I can, I'll tell you more about it when everybody gets here. So did, I don't know how many of you guys joined me for the live stream with Michelle Scott. It was awesome. And if you guys haven't gone over and joined her channel, I can't suggest it to you enough. She's such, she's so fun. But everybody got to see Hottie Poe if you did. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Malia. Hi, Mitt. Hey, Sherry. Vicky. Hi, Vicky S. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Julia. Hi, Anne. Dream 54. Hi, Care. So, for those of you that got to join on in Michelle's live stream, thanks for hanging out with me all day. It was a long day, was it not? Hi, Brenda. It was a long day. Hi, Lori. So, it was awesome. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we did a 12-hour stream with Michelle Scott, um, and it was awesome. It's her birthday stream, and it was me and Pink, Pink, I'm um, Pink, you guys, I'm telling you, Purple Cottage Crafts, which is Abby, and if you didn't go over and watch her, cool, she showed this journal she's working on, I think it's called Scarlet. You guys have to go over to her channel and see it. It's gorgeous. Anyway, her and then we had Tracy Fox came from the UK and then Hottie Poe and Bet joined us and that was awesome. And her mom, whose name is Marsha, but she calls her Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. It was fun. Is Miss Scotty Poe? Hi, Scotty. I saw your post, girl. You guys, let's all take a minute and just focus on Scotty and send her some love. She had not some not good news from going to see the doctor. And the, we should all send you love. The birthday bash, bash was fun, right? Um, I was invited from Stacy Pink Poodle Crafters to do a live stream with her and I'm gonna do it I don't know when I'm, it may be after school is out you guys we are coming into the home stretch of school here and the end of school and you guys it has been it's been a lot we're all sending you Scott we're all sending you hug Scotty you know it was not good news and I know how stressful that is for you it would be stressful for any of us and I don't even know how you do it because I don't know if I could do it but I'm sending you some love, sister. So for those of you that didn't join us, I thought I'd work a little bit more on my embellishment box. I did not finish it, you guys. You know me. I can't. Even with 12 hours, I didn't finish it. We all love you, Scotty. We all love you so much. And for those of you that are still doing your power pack, you still have time to ship it to me. Just message me. I'm not going to do the mail out until June, the end of June. And if you guys are wondering what that entails, um, so basically how many ever cards you sent me, I'm going to put them in the swap mix and send you back the equivalent in, from other people's artwork. And um, so, hi Trish, you're home, well we're happy to see you. I saw your jewelry boxes. Those are really cool. I've done that many years ago. But it was me buying jewelry boxes from like the Goodwill or whatever or from the thrift store and then redoing it. And I made those as gifts one year. 
for my kids, you know, in my handmade origin, my handmade, my handmade must be handmade. So for those of you that don't know what the power pack is, it is a deck of ATC cards made from either playing cards or some sort of, uh, these are, most of them are playing cards, but you could use other things too. And all you need to do is have a background, a beautiful picture, or a picture of a woman and an, an empowering word. On the back, you want to make sure that you put your name, who made it. That'll make it easier when I'm mixing up the swaps. So I'm going to remail it out on, I'm going to remail out everybody's at the end of, of June, and um, you still have time. Some I've received, I'm receiving more and more of them now. So just try to get them, if, you, if you're doing it, try to get them mailed to me by the end of May. If something comes up and you can't, can you message me? And I'm willing to work with you. But it can't be, you know, I need. I just need to receive them so I can send it back out. Hi, Jessica. I know. We're happy you're back, Trish. Hi, Linda Morrell. How many Lindas do we have today? We have two. I know most of the time we have two Linda Max, and we have a Linda S and a Linda Mo. So I'll show you what I've done in my box. And I was gonna, you guys, I can't find. <laughs> we don't even want to talk about my calamari right now. Um, I'm looking for my my elastic. I have all these really cool elastics, so that I can poke a hole right here in the top. And wrap my elastic around so it can it can be um, finished. I could faux paint it. I'm thinking of uh, crackle painting it, and then maybe doing some. Maybe I'll put some. I don't know. I gotta work on the front. I gotta think about the front. So I hollowed out a Funkin' Wagonal. What did you say? You said what? I'm missing it. Okay. Well, that's okay, Scotty. I'll wait for yours. Don't worry about it. M Malia says, when I say 500 book, I really mean it. What? You really mean like 15? Oh, you're crazy. Aloha, Keala. How are you? Jessica said she just got home. She met her brother from Alaska for dinner in Boston. Ah, that's awesome. So I took a, you guys can get these for free. This is a Funkin' Wagnall Encyclopedia. I took one, this one was probably falling a little bit more apart than most of them. I glued some of the pages to the front, like I just glued them so that it would make it super strong because the binding isn't. I may put some cloth over the binding. And then I hollowed out the book and I showed you guys how I did that, but I can work on that a little bit because I have another one going on. And then this is my embellishment box. And inside mine, I haven't finished all the little bags for it. I did finally make a couple of eyeballs. I could make a few more. Make a couple of eyeballs. And then these are parchment paper bags, which mine are sticking together. So I know that Carrie said hers didn't. And I put some of my little metals in. This one says sit still. And this one just has a rusty Corona lid on it. These I found in a parking lot, you guys. I did not rust them myself. They came rusted, although you can rust a lot of metal yourself. These were run over naturally in a parking lot near where I, near where I shop. And I added some little um, grommets to the top. So that if you wanted a safety pin them on a jacket or on a book, you could. And this I made out of baking parchment paper. Hi, Renee. How, I saw what happened. What did you do? Hi, Lynn. Renee, has, has is it a cast on your arm? You think Carrie, you think Carrie's talking about wax paper or not? Parchment paper? Okay. But you know what? I've made wax paper bags too, so I don't know. Maybe it's because my glue is so not good. Hi, Liz. Hi, Kathy. So then I made um, a few more things to go in my embellishment box. 
And all of this is inspired by a swap they're doing over in Trashy Flavish Junk Journals. This has got nice serendipity paper on both sides, a piece of corrugated cardboard in between. And then these are coconut beads. I did not obviously did not make them, but they're coconut beads. And a little clip. And then there's some product packaging tags that you could use, you could paint and fix yourself. The idea in that swap over in Rosemary's group is that you send embellishments for, to somebody else and you put them in a box. And if you guys are looking on the internet, um, there's lots of embellishment box swaps going on. And then this is one of my, I made the stream Michelle stream. This is one of my tin, you know, my soda can embellishments. I sew. I definitely sew wax paper. I've made lots of wax paper bags. And so this is one I made. And then it's on a, a hand painted tag because I wanted to have something to clip it to. In the bag, in the bag, in the bag. Well, look, it's coming apart here. So I guess my glue didn't hold down here. So maybe that's what Carrie's talking about. I could glue, put some more glue down. You guys, it's so, the weather's so odd here. The, the, you know, the type of humidity or whatever we have that whenever I leave any glue stick open, it gets super, super, super like gummy sticky. So it's almost like you've got to, you got to, I don't know. Let me use a white glue on it and then I'll let it dry. What happened? You fell 180 degrees backwards? What? Oh no, and you bruised your hip, sprained your elbow, and you broke your wrist. Oh, sister, I love sending you love. That's horrible. Oh no. You guys, I have I have a klutzy tendency too, so you know that could have just been me too, Renee. Just yeah, you know, I'm just lucky it wasn't. Although I don't I don't stand on things anymore because you guys, I, I I can't afford to have any downtime right now. I got too much going on. So, not to get into my and for the if everybody would give me a thumbs up at this moment, I would so appreciate it. Um. And for those of you, this is your first time joining us. This is a craft and chat. Okay, now I'm just prefacing that by because I've gotten a few comments that I talk too much. Okay, guys, this is craft and chat. If you do not want to participate in a live chat and discuss real life things, then maybe this is not for you. I'm just giving the disclaimer. You know, so, and for those of you listening, listening in the future, you know, I stream twice a week live on YouTube and all are welcome. Anyone's welcome. I don't have a, there's no rules to it. And I'll chat with anyone. You know, the only thing is I expect everyone to be respectful and kind to each other. That's all. That's just kind of what I expect, but I don't. You know, some people I don't think when you watch a video and and it was a live stream, they don't understand that. You know, there's a whole lot of people in the chat and everybody's talking to you. So, you know, it's kind of like if you've ever gone into a forum and you, um, you chat with each other except one person speaking it out loud. Renee, it totally sounds painful and I'm so sorry for you. Everybody get your beverage of choice. I am having green tea. Herba mate green tea. Ha 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 ha, Malia. Malia says, ah, oh, this isn't what I want. Who wants chats? I'm out here. You know, it always surprises me the links and stuff people say to you on YouTube. Like, it really does. Because, you know, like, I, first of all, I'd never go into anybody's chat or anybody's anything. And if I didn't like it, switch a channel. I mean, that's the freedom of it, yeah? You're not stuck with it. And the other thing is, is that everyone is welcome, but we, if you don't chat, we don't know you're here. So like, and you, sometimes you have to chat more than once because there is so many people in the chat. You can't, hi Renee from GT Designs and Midget Art Supplies. Aww. Aww. 
she's telling you to me anyone can message her and um at her Etsy with the address or via Instagram. Uh, we're happy to see you. How have you been? I am in Hawaii, Debbie. I am in Hawaii. You love vitamin water, but you're drinking coffee. It was a toss-up for me, Trish. It was a toss-up between whether I was going to make myself a cup of coffee or I had made myself some tea. So back to my little tiny box. Now, some of the boxes are making in Rosemary's group are just much more elaborate. Mine's just, you guys know, I just, I'm a trash crafter, so... You know, it's just lots of like, all my, it's really mostly my handmade stuff. There's really no, I didn't put sequins and stuff like that in it, because I figure everybody has that. I did make some fabric trim, stamped some muslin with some little ants. I have a little ant stamp. I thought it was cute. I live on the island of Maui, and so I am not in the midst of that volcano. How it will affect me is, it, and how it will affect all the neighboring islands is, the air quality. Although right now they're talking about there is a geothermal plant in in that area and the lava is coming close to it. So they're talking about some stuff like that right now. I'm just putting a piece of embossed wax pad, embossed parchment paper in there, some little trim. I'm still going to work on it. And this has a little paper clip embellishment with Paper napkin decoupage. It has some tags. These are some, I don't know if you can see them, there's some tabs I made from magazine pages. And, you know, why would you be nervous? Malia, that group is so fun and people are so generous there and very sweet. And so these are tabs for a junk journal. And I made them, put them in a little parchment bag. And then I am adding, I don't know what I'm going to work on today. I think maybe I make a tassel. I don't know. Guys, I have, anyway, I have been, I haven't really shared a lot of stuff I've been going through, but as you guys know, I, most of you know, I have been going through a property settlement and custody things with one of my children. And so, I don't know if you knew all that. And these are, I'm going to add some blanks. So, you know, my ex and I were very amicable. We have not been together for 10 years. And we were very amicable. And then he got a new girl and a new woman in his life. And I don't know if you've, any of you have ever experienced um, your ex having somebody new in their life. First of all, who's never had children. And has this sort of idea that they know how to raise your children better than you do. <laughs> Does anybody have that? So that is what I've been going through. And I didn't really tell anyone about it. I didn't really want to talk about it in our group because I don't know who wants to be a Debbie Downer, right? But it has taken all of my energy, guys. This is somebody that I was, I've known for 30 years that I had a very loving, kind relationship with for 30 years. And we split amicably because it just wasn't the right thing for either one of us. And this new person's been in his life a couple years and has totally wreaked havoc on my children. Not really me so much as my children. And so he and I had these agreements in place for years. And with her in the picture, she wanted a whole bunch of new stuff. And anyway, he's dragged me from pillar to post. So yesterday was my... my hopefully last ever time to hopefully go to court with him and the judge ruled in my favor. So you guys, I have to tell you, I feel like I am, I feel like I, I came home from the whole experience yesterday. You guys, this has been going on for two years. Two years. Yeah. Pimpernickel Baggins, right? Pimpernel Baggins, right? Um, it has been going on for two years. So you guys, I promise, now that I'm like done with this stuff, I will get all my swap stuff out to you, all my everything out. I, You guys, it has immobilized me. I have had to go. It's beyond anything that you can imagine. Okay? 
and I don't want to get into the nitty gritty because I don't want to make anyone feel bad. And I'm not asking for anyone's sympathy, trust me, but I don't wish this on anyone ever, ever, ever. So I came home yesterday and I laid down, I mean, after my whole thing and I lay down, you guys, and I slept for the longest time and I have been, I slept almost all day today. It has been intense. You guys, there were some days where I'm like, what am I doing? I you know, right? Yeah. I'm like, so, you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, like, it doesn't mean that he can't ever take me back to court, but we have a finalized parenting plan. The bigger picture is this. We have three children together and about two years ago, he and, um, he and his girlfriend had an altercation with our older daughters and I don't know exactly what it was about, but it caused such a rift between them. My, my girls won't speak to him and they really don't want to talk to me about what happened. I wasn't there, you guys. And so I think this set in, he was never interested in focusing on our children until the fact that he had this big altercation with our girls and I don't know now it's been like and it's been like vengeance on me like I've done something like I wasn't there at his home when they had this I wasn't I, my kid my older kids won't even really talk about it because they feel like it's um it's just a lot You know, the really sad, this a couple of sad things. Anything with our kids, yes, it is tough, you know. And the, the couple of sad things are this, is that um, my kids come first, and they always have. And, you know, when you have children, they don't ask to be brought into this. Well, this is how I feel. You may feel differently. And please, you can share your opinion. I'm not against that. I'm trying to decide what I want to work on. Um, you know, no one asks to bring, be brought into this world. And when you when you bring in a child into this world, it's, it's a gift, right? And you only have them for a little while. Um, I would never do anything. I mean, I have been with my my hottie for a long time. I, he and I have been together since 2011. We were friends for many years before that, before, like... I told you guys, I told you guys my story about how, how I had no feeling. I didn't even, he didn't even interest me, you know? And I, I told you guys a little story about how I thought he was gay because I met him on a, oh wow, she's beautiful. I met him on a, an, a meditation retreat and his roommate was a gay guy from Portland and he was from Portland and I just assumed they were a couple. You guys took me years before. I mean, I, I wasn't that... He was just a peripheral friend. Um, I've been with with my partner for since 2011, and he's got children. And, you know, I would never, ever, ever expect him to put me before the needs of his children, ever. And I do not get into the co-parenting of his children. They are his children. Wow, this is gorgeous. They are his children. I'm here to support him and however he wants support, you know, but I don't, you guys, they go on family vacations together, him and his kids. I don't go because it, it, they're not my kids. I mean, I love them. I'm not saying that we haven't been on some trips together. We have, but, you know, I always um, encourage him to do that. I don't bring him into my stuff with my kids. You know, my kids are my kids. I don't put, make him a part of it. And I tried to explain that to my ex that, you know, his relationship with his kids are his. And, you know, whether he stays with this woman or doesn't stay with this woman is really immaterial. Dragging the energy of somebody that isn't your family into a dynamic, which you know as well as anyone, you cannot under possibly understand. It's just not, it's just not good. So I've been doing that. I've been dealing with the Board of Ed stuff. And of course, you know, I told you my youngest daughter has had an IEP for like, since she was very young, for like six, seven years. And she's going to be in the sixth grade. He's never once 
from, oh, I love this. He's never once, I like her too, ooh, poop. I don't want to cut it up. I like this Adonis statue, but I, I like the red girl in the back until I know what I'm doing. He's never once attended a parent-teacher conference, asked to attend a parent-teacher conference, asked for notes from a parent-teacher conference, never any of it. So, um, I'm just looking to see if I want to, if there's anything in here for me to have some embellishments, but that's all I'm looking for really quick. So, all of a sudden, because he wanted this, he wanted every, basically every waking moment she wasn't in school for her to be with him. Which would mean I would have never had a Christmas vacation with my daughter. I would have never had a, I would have never had a summer vacation, never any school breaks. It would have just been me doing the day to day, and then any time she had over four days of uh, vacation, she would be with him. That's what he was asking for, and I was just asking that, you know, she be given the chance to do things she wants to do. Anyway. It's been, you guys, it's been, it's been real. And I feel like I have been, I feel like I've been run over by a truck of Todd Phil. What? You think it's a coup from the Linda Lindas? What? How about Linda? What? Well, the unreasonable thing was, is that, you know, she wanted to do, she's, she out of all my kids is a little bit more shy. And she asked this year to go to, which I thought was such a huge coup for her. She asked, you know, like a big stepping out, you know, how you're, if you have shy children, suddenly they step into their own. Thanks, Sandy. You know how they suddenly step into, hi, Barb. Yeah. If you, you're right. If you have all the answers, you don't have to go to the conference. You know, you're absolutely right. Well, this was the first year she asked to go to, uh, she wanted to go to musical theater camp. And so I found one for her, put down a deposit, and then he brought up all this stuff. Anyway, she can't even, she can't even go do that because... She has to go, it cuts into when she, we have a very short summer here. We have like a seven week, seven and a half week between school, summer. Anyway, it's okay. I explained to her that I'd find her something during the school year. Anyway, it's just been ridiculous. So that's what I've been going through, guys. And it's not been like, oh, let Shelly wallow in her stuff. It's been like, I don't know if any of you guys have gone through heavy duty litigation. It is ridiculous. I this was my first experience that after two years of it, almost relentlessly, two years of it, um, it, you guys, it was a full time job. I don't know what I would have. Hi, BJ. I do not know what I would have done. If I had had a full-time job during all this, you guys, because I don't see, usually like there's something that pops out that I go, oh, that's the best paperclip embellishment. It hasn't yet. Um, except I do like these Gucci glasses. Let me see. I can do the glasses. Um, you guys, I don't, I really don't know what I would have done. I really do not know what I would have done if I had to have gone if I had to have been in school, full, if I had to have been in work full time, I really don't know what I would have done. It would have been, because the amount of paperwork, thousands and thousands of pages. Hi, Zach. How are you? Hi, Sue. Okay, enough of my, enough of my ridiculousness. Okay, so let's make some, thank you for your prayers, but I just wanted to like, now I can really just tell you, that's what was going on with me. And that's why sometimes when I haven't been 100% like myself, you guys, it's been ridiculous. I can't even describe it to you. So, today I was, oh, I love that shoe. Mm, I love that. Today, I, you guys, I, I, when I got home yesterday, I slept. And you guys, I got up and I did my stuff this morning. And then I laid back down. Like I had been running. Like I'd run a marathon. It's so ridiculous. So, anyway, that is what. That's it. Now you guys know. 
Now you don't have to let go. What was she, what was going on there? So that was it. I don't think I'm amazing. I think I am. Like right now, I feel like guys. I feel like I'm. Have you ever like done like so much yard work that you like can't move the next day because you're so sore? That's how I feel, but I didn't do any yard work. I am moving forward. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah, everybody has to drink. So Susan and so Susan and um so funny. Michelle decided that every time I said the word ridiculous, everybody has to drink. So every time I say ridiculous, you guys have to drink. Drink whatever you have in front of you. I'm drinking tea. So I'm gonna make some I'll make a couple of uh, paper clip embellishments out of this and I'm thinking crackle finish but then I'm also thinking maybe I'll texture paste on top of it I don't know let me let me and I am going to do a watch so and I won't lose it on my desk this would be a big hangover are you guys and uh, what did you say you said yes it was Zach it was my neighbor's boyfriend that came over when I had no bra on yes it was like ridiculous <laughs> You ripped the Kardashian page out too because of the barn barn walls. No, oh, Barb, I love you. Barb says, Shelly, I know you know this, but please be gentle with yourself for the next couple of weeks. Oh girl, I am. I can't you guys I I I need like a huge exhale. I think I need a vacation from myself. <laughs> Yes, it was my next door neighbor's, it was my um, neighbor's boyfriend that came over when I had no bra on. And it was that, that was one day. And then the other day with no bra on was when I ran after my hottie who put a cup of coffee on the roof of the car. Now, I told you guys about that day, about the morning where it was like, and you guys, we get up early here. And um, he... He drove off with the car cup of coffee on the car and I ran down the street with no bra on and my neighbor saw me. Yes, that was that was that day. Yeah, it was my neighbor's ex boyfriend, yeah. Hi Tams, how are you? Long time I see. It would be a big hangover. You guys are so funny. Ha <laughs> so said she's gonna grab a mop. Oh my god. You watch my stream while your mom was on your computer? Oh, your mom is Annie. Oh, when she's great. Oh, you guys, you know, I, I probably should sleep in a bra the way stuff goes to me and goes through me. You know, you're so funny. A vacation for myself. You guys, have you ever felt like you needed a vacation from yourself? Do you know? Do, do you know what that means? You know, like you're like, you overthink things. Or you guys are all cheers. And, oh, good. Hi, Trace. Brandy. That <laughs> depends are on sale. You guys are terrible. Remember the whole towel talk? Were you guys there with the towel? With the who was it? Who brought up like when we were laughing so hard? Somebody brought up that you needed um, that that in a nudist colony. They brought up at Michelle's stream in a nudist colony that um, that they that everybody carries around towels. <laughs> I laughed so. You guys, that's just anything. So I'm going to use some product packaging for the back of my paper clips and I'm going to make some paper clip embellishments for this little, um, for this little box. And I may, I don't know if I'm going to texture it and paint on it today. I might take another book apart too. So. You're so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love you too, Trace. 
I laughed so hard about the nudist colony. It was like, it made me cry. I laughed so hard. That was so fun. Hanging out with Michelle for her birthday was so fun. It was such a fun, it was such a fun day. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. So I am going to, I got a lot of messages about previous video stuff and I'll just tell you what is in my thoughts and I, you know, I have the best of intentions, but we'll just see how far I get with it. Um, I am planning on going back and doing my tag a day series. Now that all this is over, I can really focus on, I can focus on me, you know, I can focus on things that I want to do. And so I'm going to do that. I am going to continue to work on my altered books that I've been working on. Um, I am going to keep doing my art postcards. I will um, start our scavenger hunt. But I may wait till later on in the summer to start that because I know there's a couple of other channels doing scavenger hunts. Susan's turning green. Grab a bucket. Oh, no. It was a great stream, you guys. It was so fun, Lynn. I have to say, I didn't know what to expect. And I honestly didn't know if I could craft all day, but I managed to. She got some amazing happy mail, and I was so happy for her. You know, it's like, it gets a little overwhelming, you know, especially when it's, if you're not used to celebrating stuff like that. And, you know, she had, she had some, some serious, scary health issues for a while. Um, and she'll tell you all about it if you go over to her channel. So her birthday for her just means like she's here and she's got like a, a young son who's so sweet. I mean, he was there passing out presents and, and her mom was there. Her mom is hilarious. Like, her mother is so awesome. So. Her mother is so awesome. So, so awesome. Tears all around. You're almost done with your power pack, Randy. Oh, good. You're a month behind on your, on your own videos. Well, you know what, now that all this is over, I can really focus on me. Um, I was asked to, we're going to see if I'm going to do it. I don't know. I was asked to go teach some jewelry making class. Hi, Jess. It was on Michelle Scott. Yeah, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. She's so awesome. Joni, it's okay. We'll do another one, I'm sure. Yeah, her mom and her stepmom are Marsha. Isn't that kind of ironic? Anyway, I was asked to teach some jewelry making classes, so I haven't said no, but I haven't said yes yet because I don't, you know what, you guys, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like so exhausted. So I was asked to do that, and then I was also asked to, um, to do an art and meditation workshop, which I'm, I'm, I'm seriously considering. You were only there the last 30 minutes. It was hilarious. I did craft until my fingers fell off. I was crafting like a crafting fool. And I was trying to keep up with the chat to read it to her, but guys, it's not, unless you've actually done this sort of crafting and chatting where you're talking to people and Trying to keep up with everything. Sorry if Charlie barks. He's waiting for everybody to come home. He's waiting for, he's waiting for all the kids. He's waiting for the babes to come home. She went after school to swim with a friend. To go to the beach with a friend. So, so that's what's going on with me. So, I'm, I haven't. I did fill my book, my, my box, my book box. I did, and I did, and I made another book. I'll show you that one, too. Pass the bowl, please. You guys are too funny.
You guys give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'll show you the other book I'm working on. <clears throat> Which I'm actually liking this one, but I, I don't know if I'm going to actually use the inside part. I may, I may put a different inside part in. So I was showing you guys how I made this accordion book, and this is from an old Reader's Digest. This one, unfortunately, was really, is really, really, really falling apart. It had wormholes in it and everything. So the one thing that I did that I really enjoyed, I guess I'm going to do it now because I guess I glued it in. Oh, you guys. So this is what I get when I craft and I'm not on my, in my right mind. I mean, I can work with it. I guess I glued the back down. Okay, so. Mod Podge and me are not always friends. So what I did was I made... This has got altered pockets in it. Sorry, they're, some of the pockets are sticking together. And I, this has a book compartment too, which I haven't finished this part of it. So I want to put some, I've got to glue some pages down. So the book, this could be a book box as well. Just a smaller one, and then you can put some images in the back. I guess I better finish it because it did glue itself down. I did put some matte pages and some Tyvek, you know, the postage envelope Tyvek, and then I just tied it like this. So I'll finish it. I'll finish it, and but. So this was the other one that I worked on in Michelle's stream. Oh yes, everybody passed around E6000. It was hilarious, you guys. And Sue says, Susan, put it down and back away. Put it down and back away. Thanks, Kat. Hi, Cheryl. You know, yes, paste is water activated. So a lot of people that do collage work and as a profession will use Yes Paste because it doesn't yellow and turn colors and it doesn't seep through. You ordered another book today, BJ? Awesome. So <clears throat> this was the other one I was working on. You know, what I need to do is I just want to, I'm just going to, I think, glue it to the spine. I'm not going to glue the pages to that side. I'm just going to, so that it's more like a box, right? I think I'm just going to glue it to the spine. I think I'm going to glue these pages together, and I may cover it so it doesn't look so, you know, warm, holy, and ratty. And then I think I want to put, like, a magnet here and a magnet here so that it just magnetizes. Maybe, maybe I'll put magnets around the side and put magnets here so that it, stays closed and then put some sort of button or something and then um, fill the pockets with bits and pieces. This one was really falling apart though. Um, I like this place for some things. It's, it is for archival repair of paper. It is not for I mean, Google Yes Paste and see everything. Hi, Janie. Google. Hi, Janet. Google it and see what, um, see what the uses are for. Now, I may keep this, like, blue Reader's Digest thing the way it is, you know, because I'm not upset when my books aren't perfect. But, anyway. Put, Tammy says she likes collage podge, not mod podge. Um, you know, liquid matte medium works really good, and and they have um, all kinds of heavy bodied, light bodied. Those work really well. They're a little pricey. You know, I say if you're going to make it for some sort of archival thing, then go for it and use the matte medium. Um, like I use mod podge on this, and you can see it's stuck together, even though. We're happy you're here, Cheryl. So I'm still gonna work on this one. So I, I got book, I got, I got books to work on. I got things to work on. 
So that's what's going on with me, friends. Tell me about you. So I don't know what I'm going to work on on Friday. I may, if I suddenly get a burst of like tremendous energy, I may do some full-on projects that I have on my on my crafty wish list. But if not, I'm, I may just work on, I don't know. I'm working on an altered book. Maybe I'll work. I don't know what I'm going to work on. Guys, I just finally, I feel like I was given my, my, um, my life back. And so I'm trying to figure out like what that actually looks like. But I'm happy. I'm happy this long. You use baby powder over your Mod Podge now? Yeah, I know it works. Mod Podge does not like being mailed in the mail. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what they do, whether it goes from extreme hot to extreme cold temperatures in the, uh, you know, if it goes, if it goes through that in the, um, you know, in the mail. I'm sorry, guys, I'm getting some, it's like showing me some health stream thing. I'm just trying to fix that. So you, what kind of sealer do you put over it, Lynn? Lynn's saying that she, hi, Mary. Um, Lynn's saying she puts a sealer over her Mod Podge. So what kind of sealer do you put on it? Like a spray acrylic sealer or do you put, or do you put a different sealer? You didn't miss anything, Miss Jess. You're having a problem that your diamond glaze is sticking. Hmm. I've never had that, Malia, and I use it on a lot of stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's just not cured fully. Anybody else want to pipe in with the with a comment about the the diamond glaze? Now, granted, I only use it for like. you know, putting on top of paper clip embellishments or, you know, filling in like, like one of these type of things, like a resin thing, you know, I only do that. Sue says you lost your, your spray poly, polyurethane lenses is what you use. Matte medium does work great, Joni. It's just a little pricey. I mean, I think if you get a coupon, you can use it. Hi, Rosie. You guys all say hi to Rosie from Creative Wings. So, I don't know. I should have probably cut this out a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like a glare where I'm sitting. And so sometimes I can't see where the edge of something is. Hi, Linda. How's Richard? You're making an accordion magazine? They are kind of fun. A little bit addictive, too. You use matte medium from Walmart, not expensive. There you go. Guess I don't think I've ever looked at Walmart for matte medium. I guess I'll have to start looking there, Joni. You know what? Our Walmart does not have everything. You guys, it's not, anyway, it doesn't have everything. We're all happy to see you here, Rose. You guys, I heard from Ash today. Ash told me she's feeling a little better. You guys, I'm so happy. For those of you don't that don't know, one of the moderators in our Crafting Mamas group is... Ashley Phoenix and she has she has some she has a like a an acute condition that keeps her exhausted but she was she messaged me today and just told me how much she misses everybody but she's feeling better She's feeling more energized and 
She was hoping to come by tonight, but she didn't know. So you guys, if you post to her in our Facebook group, um, send her some love. You're staying out of trouble? You're staying out of trouble? You're not staying out of trouble, are you? Scotty says triple thick is good. You guys, I haven't used triple thick. Um, I think Jessica Rapp loves tri triple thick. Are you here, Jess? You love triple thick, yeah? You can give everybody the 411 on triple thick. I am not. I don't have triple thick, so I can't give you a comment on it. Okay, Lynn, we love you. Happy you were here with us. We love you. So, you guys put the Big Island of Hawaii in your prayers. Because where the lava flow is, is a geothermal energy plant. And it was supposedly closed down a long time ago. Only for them to find out that it wasn't. And they were supposed to remove all these chemicals. And I'm not big up on geothermal plants, but... You guys, it's, you know, the volcano, the, the lava flow has erupted and it's flowing close to it. And they've sealed, I guess they had, I don't know how many tanks of, of a chemical called, I think it's called pentane or pentane. And this geothermal plant uh, supplied or does still supply I don't know a third of the island's energy and anyway this lava flow is going heading right to it so they've been talking about just the disaster stuff that could happen from that so put them in your prayers you guys they're certainly in mine I, I really don't even know how it's going to affect any of us so Jessica, hey, Jess is here. She says she personally thinks triple thick is as good as glossy accents and way more economical. So there you go. And Susan likes golden matte medium. What do you like golden matte medium for, Suze? For gluing down paper or whatever? Guys, I'm not up on the triple thick. I don't... You guys, in jewelry, if I was going to do, like, pendants, like... Like you made the other day, Jess, and I made them like jewelry I was going to wear. I would have used like an epoxy resin, which is so smelly, you know? So, so, so smelly. Um, but you have to be, you have to look like a two-part epoxy, but you have to look on the market and make sure that you get one that doesn't yellow. Because some of them yellow over time. It is scary, Carrie. You know, I don't know. Yes, bad, bad, bad chemicals. Yes. Well, what they're afraid of is they've siphoned, I guess, all the chemicals out of the tanks. Because I'm not up on how geothermal plants work. But they've siphoned all the chem chemicals, but one, but then they fill the chemicals with, they fill the, the tanks with water. And one of them, they can't fill with water. They've tried. And it, I guess whatever chemicals are in it, I don't know. So now they're going to try to put some sort of mud in it to cap it so if the volcano does hit it it doesn't anyway you guys it's way a little bit over my it's over my pay grade as far as understanding things all I understand is I live in a very delicate ecosystem as we all do right and there's there's no there's no chemical good when you live in the when you live in the middle of the ocean so I can just hear somebody say, why would you make a paperclip embellishment out of magazine pages? My vote is, why not? Why not? You guys can make your own planner clips like this. Get your own, cut out your own cool images and make your own planner clips. So... Tell me else, what else you guys are up to. I want to hear all the 411 of what you guys have been up to. Um, 
just so she makes Mod Podge like glue with any white glue and clear varnish. Oh, there you go. What's the ratio, Jess? <laughs> Susan, <laughs> Susan says, Susan, she's saying, Honey Poe, I bet the fumes from epoxy beat E6000. Oh my God, they're horrible. You have to do it outside. You cannot do it on the inside of your home. It's like terrible. Um, Hattie Post says, bring it on, Sue. You've been watching the lava flow from YouTube and it's been scary? Well, you guys, it's part of, you know, it's creation energy. And people know when you live in an active volcanic island, people take a lot of precautions. I think the, the big surprise is that there hasn't been any volcanic, the last volcanic thing that happened like this was, I guess, I think in 1955. And it wasn't in the same area. And I don't know. I posted a video on my Facebook page if you guys wanted to go watch it. It was a really kind of a cool guy who is very knowledgeable in all of it. And really just talks about um, the, the active volcanoes and how they are. And, you know, what it looks like underneath and how, how it comes through, how the lava breaks through. Malia says she's still organizing and she's accidentally buying stuff. Okay. You inherited a sugar glider? What's a sugar glider? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> What's a sugar glider? I, I don't know what that is. You, Malia wants a sugar glider. Everybody saying it's so cute. Yeah, when lava hits the water, it does make gas and these like very fine particle glass shards, yes, and it puts off and emits stuff that's not really good to breathe. Jessica says her Mod Podge recipe is two parts glue, aliens glue, or or glue all or any permanent white glue and one part clear varnish. So you don't add any um, water to it, Jess? It isn't safe to breathe. You guys, I also put on my Facebook page because people were asking me, like, what could they give? On my Facebook page is a list, an Amazon wish list for those that are displaced. And it's thousands of people, you guys. And they're asking, they're asking for basically respirators, you know, the kind that you would wear when you paint with filters. Think flying squirrel, but not smaller and way cooler. It's an Aussie critter. Oh, awesome! Hottie posts it's a rat bird. You guys are hilarious. You got your jelly plate on? Oh, good. And you're getting ready to make an early mess tomorrow? Oh, please, I know. Renee's been here from the beginning. So... If anybody wanted to give anything to the volcanic relief, they I posted it on my Facebook page. And if you buy respirators or whatever, they're sending them to an area where people can pick it up. And, you know, it's run by a volunteer organization, you guys. It's not a 501c3, so nobody's going to, not going to get a tax write-off. But in the same token, buying a respirator, I don't know how expensive they are, but I can't. Um, I can't think it would really go to a great cause it goes directly to the people okay what are you saying she Malia says can you use aliens glue to make a fabric cover or does the fabric tack work better I've used aliens glue I've used glue all to make use a fabric cover Trace said as soon as I can he wasn't well trained but in two days I got him eating berries add blueberries out of your hand aww You use what I use. Sometimes, Linda, I just use what I can get. You know, I'm not in a place where I can just, like, go down. And, and honestly, I'm not going to go spend a ton of money. If I'm going to spend money, it's going to be on paint and stuff that I can use over and over again. I do have some diamond glaze. I do have some glossy accents. I do have Mod Podge. I do have Aileen's Techie Glue. I do have Elmer's Glue All. I have. I do have Liquitex. Um matte medium I do have but I use that you guys I really don't use matte medium on my trash crafts I use matte medium like if I'm gonna try to use it sparingly I also share it with my hottie because he likes to use matte medium in his 
artwork and I, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. You're not as talkative as usual because you can't type. Girl, you broke your wrist. Scotty said she'd eat blueberries out of your hand, Trace. Trace, we love your hands. We love you, Trace. Trace, is it too hot for you to wear your kangaroo onesie? We want to know. Inquiring minds, inquiring minds want to know. Did you did you retire your kangaroo onesie until the fall? Hottie Post says me too. Oh my god. I'm keeping you within your budget. Oh, Linda. Linda. I enjoy making artwork and I really enjoy, you know, making this type of work. You know, it's not for everyone. You know, some people are really, and, and I'm not, can I tell you, I don't think that the, there has to be an either or. I think you can do both. I think you can do what you love and it doesn't matter. His name is Stuart Little. Oh, can you post some pictures? Hey, Emily. Hi, little C. Carrie. How are you, Mama? Happy birthday. We all have to sing happy birthday to Carrie. Who else's birthday was it? Who else's birthday? It was Cassandra's birthday. Are you here, Miss Cassandra? And it was Carrie's birthday. I agree with you. Renee says, is it just me? Or does Tracy have some hot, hot forearms, ladies? No. Tracy has beautiful hands and arms. Tracy, we all think that you have hot, hot forearms. <laughs> Melissa, she wishes her tablet was waterproof so she could chat while you're taking a shower. You're hilarious, Malia. <laughs> oh, no. Tracy, we all think that you have hot, hot forearms. There you go, girl. Are we making you laugh? Night, Jess. You're falling asleep. Well, we love you. Um, <clears throat> so that is, you guys, that's what's going on in my world. That is what is going on in my world. I think after the next couple of weeks, I'll be thinking really clearly, and hopefully I'll get my mojo back, and I'll feel back in the groove. It did start juicing again, which is making me feel better. Her, Deb's birthday was May 7th. Carrie's birthday and Cassandra, yeah? <laughs> Care says, Tracy is the sexy Popeye with her pocket knife and survival gear. There you go. You guys are hilarious. Renee's got the sexy feet, and Tracy's got the sexy arms. I can do nothing about my neighbor's dogs. I know that it drives everyone crazy. You know, I was kind of got, got the 411 they were moving, but they haven't. Oliver turned 14 on the 12th. Oh, happy birthday, Ollie. Happy birthday, Ollie. Okay, so we have, we have, hang on, i got to write it down. You guys, I'm having a brain melt today. I'm telling you. So I've got Carrie, Deb, Cassandra, and Ollie. Is there anybody else? Renee, is Oliver close by? I have sexy stories that you yeah, have right at, like, you guys, my life is totally ridiculous. You know, it's like, sexy st sexy stories of, like, chasing somebody down to tell them their coffee. You don't pay attention to the dogs. Well, they drive me a little bit. They drive me a little bit. They drive me a little bit crazy because it's because the kids running up and down and, and the people that live there don't even, like, do anything. He's downstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scotty. Scotty said she just fed, fed the cat. 
She just started to lose her balance. She reached out and accidentally grabbed the Swiffer mop and squirted a cleaner on her foot. Oh, no! All right, guys, I'll have to drink because I'm ridiculous. Hi, Kate! I have a sexy voice. You guys are so ridiculous. Yeah, me and my iced tea. Woohoo! Hi, Dawn. You guys are so funny. Well, let's all sing happy birthday to Carrie, Deb, Cassandra, and Oliver. I have the best laugh. Okay, good. Well, it's good to know I have the best something. <laughs> hi, Amber. If I didn't say hi to you guys, please shout at me in all caps. Please, you guys, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to sing happy birthday to Carrie, Deb, Cassandra, and Oliver. Are we ready? Hi, Don Creates. How are you? How are you? How are you? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carrie, Deb, Cassandra, and Ollie. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> oh, Scotty says, well, your foot, her foot smells great. It, it's karma for saying you vacuum when you go to pig poodles. Ah, I know, right? You know who always catches us is, is Hottie Poe. Night, Elizabeth. Hi, Janet. How are you? Yes, happy birthday. Who channels Marilyn? Me? No, I don't channel Marilyn. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Does anybody have any really big summer plans? I'm going to try to avoid going anywhere again. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? My oldest daughter is in China, and she told me that she wants me to come, but it's super hot there. And you guys, I've been to China. It's not my favorite. You're welcome, Miss Carrie. We love you. Oh, thanks, Em. If you haven't been to China, the air quality is, in my opinion, okay, this is just in my opinion. The air quality is not good. And anyway, my daughter wants me to come, but I'm not going. I would like to, she's also, she's also moving. You guys, these dogs are going to drive me crazy. And I don't even have my daughter home so I can tell her to go outside to shush them. You don't know. You're wondering if the boy needs a vacation. Yard work in the tan. Oh, okay. You're having a staycation this summer, saving it for going to Scotland in the fall. Oh, Dawn, that sounds like that's fun. What I love about our community is that other live streams rally. That, I'm missing it. You're going to Tennessee, Carrie? Oh, that's awesome. I love Tennessee. I haven't been in a long time. <laughs> Not to get too hot, you're ridiculous. I, I agree with you there, Renee. Um, I'm not good with heat either. We do rally for each other, Malia. We do love each other here. Um... I love, have you guys gone over to the Mary Atier? She's so awesome, you guys. I'm, I put together some, some stuff. She was looking for some stuff for a scavenger book. And you guys, because I've been in my own ridiculousness, I haven't. Anyway, but I'm not anymore. So if I can give myself a couple of weeks to get myself back together, I will be on to it. I do love her. I love, first of all, I love her artwork. Have you guys seen what she makes? She is a wonderful Fabulous. I want to make her alphabet book. Did you guys see her make that alphabet magazine? Oh my gosh. I'll have to figure out which stream it was in. And 
trying to figure out what stream it was in, and I will post the link in here. She made this really cool alphabet magazine project, which was just brilliant. I loved it. And I love all her painting techniques. And you know what else? She's just a real person, and I love her. And I love Barb. I mean, I do like, I do love it when everybody does their live streams. If I can be there, I am. I need a whistle. You love teaching teens to drive? Ooh. You can teach. You're gonna send. You're gonna send your son so Amber can teach him to drive, or 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 Renee can. Um, my daughter's school evaluation is still ongoing, but you know what, Kate? So I took her to get. You know, they they were like they tell you all the stuff, and you're just kind of like standing in your like own space, going. You know, I'm dealing with this child now, so I don't want to put her through the rigors of feeling like she's in school 24/7. You know. I am a firm believer that it clicks in at some point. The whatever is the best for you, right? So when I took her, they, they were giving me this whole thing about, oh, well, she needed a nurse. They were, when I was at the Department of Education, they were, like, telling me that she needed a, a neuropsych eval, and they were obviously not going to do it. And I said, okay. So you guys, I went through the insurance, and they weren't going to pay for it. I mean, they were, but I'd have to go through this rigmarole, and I need all this information now. I don't need to wait a year. You know, so I took her, and it cost me a fortune, but I paid for her to have a neuropsych eval, and I haven't gotten the whole, um, I haven't gotten everything back yet. But what I did do was, in talking to the, the psychologist that gave her the neuropsych eval, I um, found out that she, you know, I just said, if this was your child, where would you send, where would you feel the best place to send her to school is here? And, you know, she mentioned this Montessori school. And so it's not close to where we live, but I applied and we went through the whole process and she got in. So that's my, you know, it doesn't really matter what the Department of Ed says now, you know. And then I'm having her, I found a tutor that, I mean, I help her. We work with her. All of us work with her. You know, she's got two older sisters as well. And, yeah, my oldest one's in China at the moment. But when she was home, both she and her husband. And her husband is a linguist. He's so awesome. Isn't it great when your kids, like, meet their life partner and they're, like, awesome? And, um, and they totally suit them. You know what I mean? It's like so awesome. I have a great son-in-law. Anyway, um, so we're just all going to support her that way. And I found a, a really wonderful tutoring. It's actually a, a group of teachers that formed it here. And... She has an evaluation to go and see if she can work with them, you know, when she gets back from her dad's, if she can work with them. So I think we're good to go. I'm not going to wait on the Department of Ed. You guys, the education system here is so bad. You know, it's good that I have all this stuff in writing. It's good that I have this IEPs. It's good that I have all that stuff because it's going to help them help her in Montessori school. And with stop. You need to stop yourself. There is nobody here for you to bark at. Um, but I'm not going to wait, you guys. She, you know, she's, she's 11. She's going to be in the sixth grade. She needs to be having fun with her life, not focusing on being taught to the test because it doesn't work for her. Scotty, it's so backwards here. It's probably like, I don't know where we rank in the education system in, in the U.S., but I would say it's probably one of the lowest. And they don't want to pay for anything. You know, they needed to have given her some summer school options. And their thing was like, well, we only take kids that are, uh, that we can see both physical and mental handicaps with for in a summer program. Meaning like children that are like, you know, visually impaired or, um, wheelchair bound, have cerebral palsy, autistic, on the higher end of the autistic spectrum. I mean, 
And you know what? Quite frankly, I don't want to fight with him anymore. She's my child, and I will do what's best for her. If I was on the mainland, she would have already been in a really good program. They just don't offer it here. I mean, Hadi and I have been discussing moving back or finding a better place to move. But you guys, in light of what I've just gone through, I just I don't want to take on another, like, I don't want to start my life over again at this moment. And my daughter is really, really, really happy here. She is a nature water person. She loves, um, she loves swimming in the ocean every day. She loves, um, you know, there's things, there are, there are wonderful things about here that you can't get anywhere else. And, you know, so she, I don't know what she'll grow up to be, but, you know, it's like, for me, I think that, you know, as long as she's happy, I'm good. If she goes to college, great. If she doesn't go to college, so what? You know, she'll be good at whatever she does. Well, that's not here. It is, I know it's not legal, but you know what? It's like everything is backward here. You guys, it's not, it's not even worth, it's not worth the fight here. She is excited, Malia. You know, she went and spent the whole day there. And, um, you know, they put you through a rigor of whatever. And she is very excited. She's very excited to go. You know what she said? It was so... There's a lot of other issues here, too. I mean, Kayla can, can pipe in and, and, talk, and discuss it with you, too. Because, you know, she's from... She's born and raised in Hawaii, too. Um, it, the teacher salaries are so low here that, you know, most teachers have two and three jobs. Most people living here have two and three jobs. And so, you know, it's a, it's a culmination. And you can't expect them if they don't... You know, it's old school teaching. It's teaching that no longer is relevant. But we as a society have to come to that realization that it's just not relevant and doesn't work for every child. Malia, you know what she said? She said, um, she said, thanks, Renee. I love her so much. I love all my kids, you know. Um, she said when we took her to the Montessori school, she said when I picked her up, she, I said, so how was it? She said, Mom, I already have friends. And you guys, it made me, it, it just made me so happy. You know, both, I think both Hadi and I had tears in our eyes, you know. She said, they, she said I already have friends. And, um, you know, it's a mixed age classroom. They do fourth, fifth, and sixth together. So that's going to be a huge thing for her because, with fourth, fifth, and sixth together, like she's really excels in math, but she's not, she's really behind in reading. Like she reads at a, like a fourth grade level, right? And so it means that she'll be able to have people that are in her like skill group, you know? So I don't know. I'm looking forward to it for her. I'm looking forward to this next year. I'm just going to stay with it. Wow, oh, thanks, Renee. I love her. Kate, what else am I going to do? It's a Montessori school, Carrie. It's founded by Maria Montessori. Look it up. It's really, it's a really cool, really cool type of teaching. She went to Montessori school for a period of time for like when she was in the second grade when we went to Las Vegas for a minute and she excelled there. Sue says her son has ADHD and the guidance counselor said the only one on my son's side was you. You know what, Sue? You have to advocate for your kids, and you do have to get really horrible. Well, you may have the lowest amber. Well, we probably have the second most. The cost of living is outrageous here. So it may seem like it's a high-paying job, but when the cost of living is like, I don't know. You guys can Google it and see. Look, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that there's like more than just a reason. Yeah, she will be around kids that she can be comfortable with and with an environment that's more her pace. You're absolutely right. You do have to speak up for your kids. Yeah, it's a private school, Carrie. Yeah, it's a private school. It, it be, it be expensive, but you know what? Can I tell you, this is how much this man I'm with loves me. You know, these are not his children. But, you know, he loves them like they're his children. And, you know, he is such a good role model. He does not, he 
he doesn't discriminate between my children not being his children. And so when we started discussing this whole Montessori school thing, I said, it is so pricey. And he's like, how much is it? And I tell him, and he says, that's good. He says, we'll do it. He said, I'll give you whatever money you need. Now, you guys, he's not, you know, he's not their dad. He is not their dad. But he's a good person. He's a good man. Your school has a policy. What happens at school stays at school. They put all the kids that don't fit in the mold in your art class. Ugh. I don't like how we label people. I know. I imagine. Kate, you are one. I've, saw, I've seen some of the projects and stuff you've done. I'm sure you do amazing projects with them. And you're a wonderful mom on top of it. It is money well spent. Amber, you know what? Sometimes you have to go and see if you um, can find somebody else to advocate for you. Scotty said her son's a good dad to his children too. Yeah, but think about it, Scotty. I'm not even married to him. You know, it's like we've been together a long time. But I'm not married to him. But you know what he pointed out to me? He said, you know, when his son needed help, I was there helping him. And I was, you guys. When I was working my big CEO job, I, his son, whatever his, he had a younger son, his older son kind of went off on his own and did his own, like, thing. Not that we didn't help him, but, you know, he was already, like, out doing his thing. But when his son needed things, I did. Without question. I didn't even, like, I didn't even think twice. because. But I think that's how moms are more than dad, you know? You know, I don't know what the extent of the testing thing goes on where we are. Um, I do feel lucky, too. You know what? She's going to end up being a, the most perfect adult ever. Um, and I know that. So... Carrie says, her hubs is like that about her children and loves them as his own grandchildren call him. Paw Paw. I love that name, Paw Paw. Yeah, somebody posted something so funny about what people, what their grandkids call them. I'm not a grandmother yet, so I don't know. So what do your grandkids call you? Guys want to tell me? I would love to know. My mom, my nephew, he was her oldest grandchild, and he called her Meemaw. That was his thing. You know, um... So my mom didn't even choose it. And then everybody else called her Meemaw, too. Um, my grandmother, I called one of her, I think I called one of them Grandma. I called both of them Grandma, I think. So Kira says her, she goes by Gran. He is a loving support, Cheryl. He's like, you know what, he's like my anchor. Janet says Mo. They call you Mo. I love that. Good night, Miss Kate. We love you. I love you very much. Scotty says they call her Nana. So, Grand Mo and Nana. Nana Tazzy. That's awesome. Your Graham. Oh, I like Graham too. The big grands call you G, G Ma. Well, I like that. Granny Annie. Oh, I like that. Your Noni. Oh, I like Noni too. Grammy. You're just Grandma Dawn? Grandma Dawn. One of them's Grandma and the other one's Grandma Dawn. Okay. One calls you, is it M Moma? Mama. Mama and Grandma. Oh. Joni says her grandmother's name was Frances, so we used to call her Granny Franny. Oh, that's so funny. And your Grandma. Oh. Your sister's Gigi. I like Gigi. I don't know because. You guys, okay, so I'll just tell you the, the, the extent of my children and what they call us, okay, or called me. So, my kids, my older children, when they were little, they they never called me mom. I, I it, 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 That's just what it was, you know, and I didn't get all upset about it. 
check on my credit card for, to, to smooth out my, my wrinkles. I was never upset about it. You know, they call you what they call you. When, when I realized my oldest daughter was calling me by my first name, calling me Shelly, and my husband by his first name, it was like we were the only ones calling each other mom and dad or whatever, so it was kind of weird. So we just stopped. So my first two kids call us both by our first names. <laughs> Barbara says she had a teacher whose name was Mary and her kids, her grandkids called her Grand Mary. I like that. Renee says she wants to be Mimi or Gigi when you become a grandma. Oh, I like that. Sandy was great as grams now, but when they were little, you were mama. I like mama too. Grandma Cheryl, that's awesome. Amber says her kids call her in-laws mom and pop. Oh, that's cool. Scotty said she had a nanny and a mama kitty. <laughs> the mama kitty was the one that would shoot somebody. Ooh. So my kids called us by our first names, okay? And and it used to, and I lived in New York City, you guys, so it didn't bother me. You know, it's like, and I don't even know why or what, but that's what they did. You know, and it never, I never had an issue with it because I figured, you know what? They know I'm their mother. You know what I mean? They totally know I'm their mother. It's not like calling me something different is going to make it different. So fast forward, I have this little tiny one, you know, like many years later. And so she vacillates. Like she calls me, sometimes she calls me mom and sometimes she calls me Shelly. So I can only imagine what my kids are going to, what their grand, my grandkids are going to call me. You know, like, I don't know. We so, honestly, and they call my partner Buddha, okay? <laughs> the little one gave him that name, Buddha, because he's very calm. I don't know why she did, but she was really little when, when, um, when we first started dating. And I don't know why, she, but she's always called him Buddha. So my older kids call him Buddha. Does that make you laugh? Buddha. I said, well, it's better than being called something else. Oh, Sue. We love you, Sue. Big hugs. Papa Richard. Aw. Your son's stepson calls you Scotch. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I'll be Nana Woo Woo. Hey, you never know what I'll be. They'll probably just call me Shelly, and it's okay. Guys, I'm good with whatever they call me. I'm good with whatever they call me. But I thought it was so funny. I was watching that. It was like a Facebook video about the, these ladies are going to, like, the grandma store, and they're picking up their name, their name tag, or whatever. It was like, have you seen that video? It's really super cute. It'd be super cute. Suze, what does your grandkids call you? They call you Yaya, don't they? Nana Wu. I like Scotch, though. I think that's a good one, Scotty. Oh, Sandy, I'm sorry. Oh, Sandy, we send you big love. He is certain. He is very Buddha-like. <laughs> Nana woo-woo. You guys are ridiculous. Mimi. I like Mimi. Mimi's good. I think Scotch is good. I think Scotch is hilarious. He was born, he can't quite remember Scotty, so he just called you Scotch. I love it. It's brilliant, though. He calls you Scotch, and Owen calls you Nana. I have a friend, and her granddaughter calls her Mai, and her grandpa Pie. Mai and Pie. 
Isn't that funny? <laughs> she says her, is it your brother couldn't pronounce Evelyn, so you called her Aunt Auntie Evil? Oh, I love it. Auntie Evil. You have a daughter named Shelly, too? Oh, Sandy. That's awesome. Shelly's are a little spunky and feisty, I have to say. <laughs> except when you're at Walmart. Scotty says it's fine, except when you're at Walmart and he's yelling scotch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stop barking. There is nobody here. Charlie, stop. Charlie, enough. Enough. You want to be called Gaga? Gaga's good, too. <laughs> Put her in a pool and Scotty becomes scotch and water. Oh, my God. That is brilliant, Sue. Oh. You are hilarious, scotch and water. Your youngest is named Shelly, too? Lots of us spunky Shelly's going on. She's very spunky. See, my mom, when my mom was pregnant with me, my mother, I told you guys my mother was a dancer. Well, she had a dancing school. She had a dancing school, and she didn't want to name me any because she had kids of all kinds. She didn't want to. What, Jess? Is it KK, I hope, and not the other way? <laughs> oh, Jessica. Oh, they call you Kaka for Jessica? Bro, you need to have them. You need to steer them in a different direction. You can't be called Kaka. Anyway, so my mom, my mom, wanted to name me after some some a child she didn't have in her dancing school. So that's how I got my name. And I said, oh well, yeah, you know how people name their kids funny things anyway. That's what the Kardashians do with it. What? Granny Grunt? Oh, no. Called your older sister Shelly Jellybean? Yeah, Shelly does have a lot of names. Cheryl, I loved everything you sent me. Guys, I promise I'll get back on the roll and show you guys all the stuff everybody sent me. I've just been in my own funk. Now that you guys know, you know, now that you guys all know what my 411 is, you know, I don't usually share it with everybody, but it, it, it's kind of taken, it, it took its toll on me. Kaka. Oh my God, Jessica. I don't know if I would want to be called Kaka, okay? Charlie, nobody's here. Charlie is so desperate for somebody to be home. She didn't get to ride in the car today. Your granddad calls you Twinkle Toes? Aww. Your grandpa has nicknames for everyone and yours is Catbird? Oh my god, it's so funny. What? You guys are too funny. Ugh. I'm telling you. Guys, I feel like I ran a marathon and haven't gone anywhere. I ran a marathon. So silly. Renee says her dad called his three girls, George, Pete, and Sam. I love it. You have people call you Patchy because you're your grandpa? Can y'all type a little louder? Scotty can't hear. <laughs> Scotch can't hear. <laughs> we made you laugh. Oh, Sandy, this is nothing. We keep going sometimes and it's bad. We laugh until we hurt. <laughs> Sue says a, st a child run child running through Walmart screaming caca might get a few looks. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I 
yeah, so their, their real names are Michelle, Renee, and Jennifer. Yeah, my dad wanted sons, too. He didn't have any. He had four daughters. You left Saturday hurting for days? I know, right? <laughs> the woo will help, definitely. Aw. Amber said, no one else ever called her that. I actually have Catbird tattooed on me in his handwriting. Aw, Amber, that's so sweet. <laughs> Sue <laughs> says, my aunt tried and succeeded to make my sister's first word caca. Oh my gosh. I know. I was I laughed so hard too on Saturday, Amber. It was hilarious. You guys, it has been. It's been crazy. We sometimes get to laughing over the most ridiculous things. Oh, you guys better drink. I said ridiculous again. I enjoyed Saturday a lot, although it was really early for me, guys. It was super early. And I was a little sad that Abby didn't feel well. You guys, she was, I don't know all about her condition, but she has something. And so if everybody can just send her some love. She's got a, guys, I can't remember. It's got a very long name. She gets suffers from really bad pain and headaches. So, It's so funny. About 10, and it was getting wild. Hottie Popo. Hottie Popo is hilarious. Isn't she hilarious? Susan is hilarious. She's got such quick wit. Oh, my God. Sometimes I talk to them, and I laugh until I cry. Just over my, my own ridiculousness. Oh, no. You're bummed you missed Saturday. It was fun, Trace. You know what? It was it was just fun hanging out with everybody. I was surprised as many people stayed as long as they did. It was it was good. Um, Don says her little brother was closer in age to her kids than to her. And one summer he thought it was so funny to teach her son to flip me off. Oh my gosh, to flip the bird. And I drank, drank. I drank a lot on Saturday, guys. I drank so much coffee. I was like floating. I was. I was floating in the coffee in the coffee bath. Anyway, so I have got some more paper clips to add to my book. I have this. I can use this on one of them. How many of you guys are making um or working on a junk journal for yourself, like one that you're using as a glue book. Is anybody doing that? Or did any of you guys get to go over and see Carla today? I was there for a little bit. I had to I had errands I had to run before I had like a conference call and some stuff to do. Maybe I should diamond glaze this one. And then diamond glaze this. We're looking for Mary's chair. Oh no, that was so funny. Mary's chair. Did you guys hear about Mary? She fell through her chair. It may, I'm sorry. It was so funny. It wasn't. I know she tried to hang in there, Sue. I love abs. She's such a trooper. It was funny. The story Michelle told about how she got stuck in the box when she was on Abby's stream. That was so funny. I saw, you missed Carla. Carla was awesome today. I didn't get to hang out as much as I would have liked to because I had a conference call, but you guys go over and support her. I love her. You're, you're going to make a journal for yourself, Dawn? Oh, I'm definitely. This summer, I mean, I'm going to, I have multiple journals. I don't know who we were, I was talking with about it last week, but I was saying, you know, I have, I work on multiple projects at once because I don't know that I have ADD, but, you know, I like to have, I like to have a lot of different things going on. How many of you were like that too? You like to have like a lot of projects going on at once. So this summer I'm going to definitely make myself like more of a, more of a smash book journal. And I may take one, one stream a week and work on that. I don't know. I haven't decided. 
I'm supposed to travel to the East Coast, but you guys, I'm hoping I, I'm, I'm hoping I can work it out so that I don't have to. And if I cannot travel to the East Coast, that will make me so, so, so happy. A friend of mine has a has a shop here, sort of out in the rainforest. It's probably about 45 minutes from where I live, and she's asked me to come and help her. And it's like a an artisan shop. She does like beautiful. Um, well, what kind of art you want to say she, she makes flower art like from dried flowers she makes these hanging gardens is what she calls them anyway um she's asked me to come and work with her a little bit this summer so i may i don't know we're going to see how that works out for me um and guys i'm really Focusing on finding us a house. I would really, I would really like us to find our forever home or for a while home that's ours. Because the house we live in now, like there's some things that need, that are not up to my snuff. Like I need new, I need a new bathroom, I need a new bathroom, you guys. But the last time I put money in renovating somebody else's home, it didn't, you know what I mean? I've only owned homes until I moved to Hawaii. And I'm not saying that, and I didn't live, they, the homes I've had were not expensive homes. So let me preface that. You know, it's not like, but paying as much rent as I, we pay here, it's ridiculous how much money. You know, and there's stuff I want to do. Like I would love for, I'd love to be able to, my kitchen needs renovation. I'm not going to put money into renovating a kitchen that doesn't belong to me anymore. You know, my kitchen needs renovation. Um... The kitchen needs renovation. There's like the bathroom needs some work. Like you guys in the in the tropics, things don't last, and I don't, I can't for tell you exactly why, but they just don't. Like it just, it's almost like it's almost like um, the elements just take it away. What did you write? Congrats, Don. What are we congrats? What are we congrating you for? I missed. I missed it. Oh, love you, Trish. Thanks. Yeah, the salt air does take it all down. It really does. Are you leaving us, Trish? We love you. Happy you're back. Welcome home, Mama. You guys keep posting your crafty creations in the on, in our Facebook group. It's always nice to see what everybody's making. You guys, please, if you're new, just please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Um, how many of you guys want to stay for the Lulu? How many of you guys want to stay for the guided meditation? I have to say, in the midst of all this, even though it's been sort of rough, my meditations for me have been um, have been incredibly clear. You know, like, and they've been really powerful for me. So I mean, that between that and my sweetheart, that has what seen me through this really rough two years. Now, obviously, my connection with the divine, as we all have that same thing. We are divine all the time. And if I didn't have that, I don't know where I'd be. Guys, it was like serious. These glasses are going to be cool paper clip embellishments, so to add. Your new job? Ooh. Your new job is getting organized and craft. Ooh, good for you. You're in for the woo-woo? Callan's woo-woo? Okay, good. Sue does? Okay, good. Nice job, Cheryl. Definitely. You'll stay? Okay, cool. Well, we'll do. 
What are you sad? Who are you sad for? Don't be sad for me, Kara. I, I, I'm good. You know, but I don't know what you guys, you guys, I just want to say this. You know, most of the time I don't share what I go through because in all honesty, all you need is people to send you the most positive thoughts and vibes. You don't need, you don't need any extra, any extra that isn't anything other than positive for you because it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help you where you are and it doesn't help them where they are. And we can be empathetic to each other, but really, in reality, the most important thing is that we just support each other and we're here for each other energetically in a positive form. You know, like, what do they say? Be the love you, you seek or what is that saying? So, I am so good. I'm just glad. I'm glad it's like, I was only sharing with you because I know some of you guys are like, why haven't you sent this out? Scotty was in pain. Oh no, Scotty, we love you. Oh, I love you, Renee. You guys have been so here for me. I can't even tell you. I don't know what I would have done without you guys for these past two years. Guys, this past year was like really freaking rough. I have to say, there were some weeks where I was like, what am I doing? This is so hard. You know? But I love you, Scotty. I'm sorry you're in pain. I just feel like the fact, the mere fact that we're here for each other in a way, in a forum that there's no expectations, right? There's no, and there's no, there's, n you don't have to. There's like no, there's no hidden agenda. There's no expectation. There's no nothing, right? It has been for me really amazing. It's been an amazing been an amazing journey for me hanging out with you guys and and it's also been like it's also been really cathartic for me as well because you know when you find other people who may be going through something similar or sharing their own energy in life with you and you don't really focus on yourself so much right okay these do have a couple of bubbles in it I guess I could let my perfectionist nature go and leave the bubbles, but let me see if I can pop them. Okay. Um, it's been really amazing. You guys have been so wonderful to me. Who wants cake? Making microwavable brownies. I <laughs> I, I've been denied critical need to know from you guys are so hilarious. That wasn't random. I love it. And cake. I like, I, I don't have a microwave, but if I did, I think I would like it. I love cake too. I really love cake. I haven't had co cake and cookies in a while. I can't say that I had cookies at a birthday party on Sunday. They were the worst ever. I had two bites and that was nothing good. It was horrible. Cheryl, all of it's been a little bit overwhelming. I haven't had cake in a cup either. You guys are so funny. I use this, um, Sandy. It's called Judicate's Diamond Glaze, and I bought it on Amazon. I'm not an affiliate. Um, it's cheap as there, but you could also use, um, uh, guys, pipe up and say the other things. My head can't think of what they are. Um... Jessica likes to use triple thick, and she says you can get that at Walmart, but I haven't seen it in my Walmart. And then there's also um, glossy accents. <laughs> you have honey buns, and that's the closest you can have to, to cake. I like honey buns, too. I haven't had those in years. The cookies I had were horrible. At least he made who coffee. My hottie made me coffee. Or will I do get coffee? Or who who made who coffee? No microwave. How do I cook? Gina, I only cook on a stove. I do have a crock pot. I have a crock pot and I cook on a stove. I don't have a mic I don't have a microwave. I love coffee. Can I tell you coffee? And I have a you know, like there's a few things. I could probably give up just about everything, but if I had like you guys know about my coffee thing. When we had the ballistic missile scare, how I asked Katya, how do you make me coffee? He said, if we only have 15 minutes to live. He says, if we only have 15 minutes to live, you want coffee? I said, yes, definitely. If we only have 15 minutes to live, I definitely want coffee. <laughs> you had to get triple ticket Hobby Lobby. There you go. You guys are so funny.
You like to make Nutella cookies? Oh, I haven't made those either. If you keep eating cake, you won't have honey buns. You're so good. Not at not at Walmart, Hobby Lobby. There you go, Hobby Lobby. Sorry, Jess. You haven't had coffee in a week? Good for you. Scotty says she just eats Nutella with a spoon. You guys are hilarious. All right, so if we're going to do the woo-woo, before we start, I want you guys to bring to mind anyone or anything that you think could use a little boost. And it could be anything. It can be, um, it could be a friend, a pet. You know, pick places on the earth. I advise you. I would, if you guys felt inclined to include the Big Island of Hawaii or the Hawaiian Islands in your woo-woo, I would. You guys always, always, always include where you live. The energy that you live in is what supports you. And when you feel good, your whole life goes well. So always include the energy of the land and where you live. Now you, now you guys all want coffee. You guys are so funny. Um, yeah, thumbs up would be super awesome. I would love that. Um, so bring to mind anybody that you'd like to include in your, and it can be anybody, and you can bring up, you can think of each other. I always include all of you in my energy meditation work. Always, always, always. Always, always, always. I always include all of you. Um, you can bring your pets to mind. You can bring a friend. You bring your place of work in. If you guys work in a place, you know, I there's no limitation to who you can send this loving energy to. And this energy is just love. Charlie, you need to stop. I'm going to have to go put Charlie up before we start the woo-woo. So while you guys are bringing things to mind, I'm going to go put that dog up because oh, she's going to bark. Um, and, and if anybody wants to do any energized water, bring your water. Go get your glass of water. And for those of you that this is your first time here, we do guided meditation. It, this guided meditation is all about you and your energy. Charlie, stop! Charlie is... <coughs> I think my family's all coming home. Hang on a second. <coughs> get your glass of water. Get your glass of water and get your, um, what did you say, Kara? Yes, we can definitely focus on healing your wrist. I think that's a really wonderful thing. Um, definitely, definitely. I'm getting ready to do a guided meditation. If you wouldn't mind taking the dog. No, no, it's not you. It's the dog's outside. And nobody, no, there's nobody else home. So anyway, get your water. Take your time. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um. No, they. They'll be home in just a few minutes. You can lock her in my room if you want. Um. Hang on, you guys. Get your water. So guys, I'm going to wait just a minute because the rest of my family is coming home and Kira said you haven't had coffee in a week and it supposedly helps bronchitis go away faster. Not having coffee or having coffee? So bring, so bring to mind, like, 
not having caffeine makes your bronchitis go away. Okay. I had no idea. Hi, Christy. How are you? I, you know what? I had no idea. That, that I didn't know anything about. You just hit brew. I love coffee because I really love coffee. So before we start, we're just going to wait a couple seconds because they're all driving in and then other, otherwise the dog's going to like have a, otherwise the dog's going to have a field day and start barking. And hey boo, you're, um, what's wrong? If you want to, if you want to go outside and play, you have time if you want to. And you can, if you can watch Charlie and take her with you, you can, you can jump in the shower too, whatever you need to do. Okay. I'm just going to do some, I'm, I'm getting ready to do my woo woo. Okay. That's all. So anyway, all right, you guys, are we ready? Did everybody get their water? Everybody get their water. Now somebody's going to ask, can you do me a favor? We shut this front door. The the dogs for the neighbor are just going to go crazy. Um, so the one thing I want to just say to you all, this does not interfere with any of your own personal belief systems. You know, the energy work that I do is the same energy that, that you makes the grass grow and the sunshine. It comes from the divine in whatever form you associate with, okay? You know, the divine doesn't put limitations on itself. Only we do, you know? So I'm just letting you know that for those of you that are like, well, I've never participated in anything like this, or I don't know how this adds up to what I do already. No, it's like adding frosting to a cake, right? The, the frosting can add to the cake. You can have the cake with the frosting or without it. You know, it doesn't matter, okay? So all you need to do to participate is to inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. You can do this work lying down or sitting up. It is completely up to you. And... There's no right way or wrong way to do it, okay? It is, you have to find your, what works for you. I like doing it better with my eyes closed, but if you, you like doing it better with your eyes open, then do it that way. You know, there's no, there's no right or wrong, okay? So inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And receive. And release. Receive love. And send love. Imagine yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. It is unique to your being, soul spirit. Allow your column of light to enter deep, deep, deep into the earth. Allow your column of light to find its way to the heart of the center of the earth. And right there in the heart of the center of the earth, give your divine light, your column, your tube of light, tree roots, and allow yourself to root yourself deep deep, deep, deep into the heart of the earth. I would like you to follow your column of light deep from the heart of the earth. Follow it all through your body. Follow it fountaining out your head. 
and give your column of light the suggestion, heart of the central sun, heart of creator creation energy, heart of the divine, heart of the I, the I am. Allow your column of light above your head to grow deep, deep, deep roots above your head into this heart of this heavenly angelic realm of creator creation energy, heart of the central sun, heart of the eye, heart of the divine. Feel your roots above you in this heavenly angelic realm and then go immediately deep into the heart of the earth and feel your roots right there. Now let's ask the earth deep in the heart of the earth where your roots are. Let's ask the heart of the earth to bless us with her energy. I see this energy like beautiful gold light, but you can see it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful golden light energy rising up through your roots, feeling your feet and ankles, calves and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it filling your lower abdomen, your waist, your chest, your back, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, and out every finger. Feel it filling your spine, your throat and neck, your face and head, and feel it fountaining out the top of your head and allow any and all excess to release through the roots that you have anchored into the heart of the beautiful angelic realm of the divine source. Now, while we're there, let's allow ourselves to focus and ask the divine to bless us with divine energy. I see this beautiful energy like beautiful diamond lights, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy pouring through your column of light and mixing with the gold earth energy and your own beautiful light. Feel it filling the top of your head, your face and neck, your throat, your shoulders, arms, wrists, hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest, your back, your waist, your lower abdomen, the base of your spine and feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves and ankles and out your feet. Feel it pouring through and exiting out your feet and your column of light. Expelling any and all excess into the heart of the earth. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to heaven into earth. Now I'd like us to focus on the heart of the earth where we meet there. And I'd like us to receive peace, love, 
bliss and freedom. On the inhale and on the exhale, release anything that doesn't work for you. Ready? Receive in love. And release in love. Receive in love. And release in love. Receive in love. And release in love. Focus on six feet below your feet. And breathe in and receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Ready? Receive in love. And release in love. Receive in love and release in love. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Focus one foot below your feet. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the base of your spine. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the base of your spine. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on your lower abdomen. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on your waist. 
receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on your heart. While we're here in our heart center, open a window. Leave this window wide open. On the inhale, receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. And on the exhale, release any energy that no longer serves you. Ready? Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on your throat. <clears throat> Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. 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 Focus on the point of light between your forehead and the center of your eyes. In the, for in the middle of your forehead between your eyes. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus on the top of your head. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Just one foot above your head. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Receive in love. Focus one foot above your head. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom.
can see the mud. See the mud. Focus six feet above your head. Receive peace, love, bliss, and freedom. Receive and love. Receive and love. Receive and love. Receive and love. Focus where your light meets the heart of the central sun, the heart of creator creation energy where your roots are, the heart of the divine. Receive peace, love, <clears throat> bliss, and freedom. Receive and love. Receive and love. Receive and love. I want you to focus on an infinity symbol. See it like a figure eight, starting in the heart of heaven, the heart of creator, creation, energy, crossing through your heart, crossing back through deep in the heart of the earth, crossing through your heart and ending where it began like a figure eight once again starting in the heart of creator creation energy crossing through your heart crossing back through the heart of the earth crossing back through your heart and ending where it began on the inhale I'd like you to receive the love of the earth of the heart of the heavens Heart of creator creation energy the heart of the central sun and on the exhale I'd like you to give back love to the earth love and gratitude to the earth love and gratitude to the divine creator love and gratitude to the heart of the central sun ready receive in love and give in love Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and give in love. One more time. Receive in love. And give in love. Now I'd like you to focus on your hands. And just let me know when you feel this energy. Ready? Just, just say yes.
And I'd like you to put one heart, hand on your heart. And I'd like you to put one hand out to the world and send this energy to those places and people, places, things that you brought to mind always include your home. Ready? Receive in love and give in love. And when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back. And please feel free to share anything you'd like. You know, there's no right or wrong. We all experience, we all receive what we need to receive, and we experience what is right and perfect for us. And Linda, I have a paper clip on the back. I was doing it the whole time. I did my hidden paper clip. I can show you again next time. I'm sorry I wasn't focusing on the paper clip part so much because I figure you guys have seen me do it a million times, but I can totally do it again with you another time so you can see. So please feel free to share anything you experienced, you know. Um, for me, it felt clearer. I don't know how to describe that to you, like, with more um, with more without obstruction. I don't know. You guys, I have my own like vocabulary of woo woo. So if I say something you guys don't understand, please feel free to ask me because. It's not like there's some club of it or anything. There's no, there's no, there's no woo-woo instruction manual. People ask me that all the time. They say, you know, like, where do I go to learn to do what you do? Well, I can tell you the more you do it, the more your capacity to hold your own being, soul, spirit, and your divine blueprint, your natural gifts open up. But if you are interested in learning more, you can always email me and I can give you a link to my website and hi Charlene you came in the middle of the woo woo hey awesome you're welcome care so I mean I can you know I do work with a group of people and do guide them through their own you know a non-crafting group should I say <laughs> a non-crafting group of people that just do the woo woo you feel tingly and light and energized and less noise in your head. Oh, that's awesome. You're welcome, Cheryl. You're welcome, Care. You know, there's no right or wrong, you guys. You know, everybody comes when they need to come and experience what they need to experience. And I don't judge it. And we're all on our own path. And so, you know, we're all connected. 
So I say, you know, you have to do what your heart tells you. Dawn, we've missed you. How have you been, Mama? And how's our lovely Leah? Here says for her, she felt like her head was underwater and she could breathe, but every word and thought was muffled, sound, energized, tingly, and starving. Well, I did push a lot of energy through you, so um, allow it to be what it is. You know, don't judge it. You know, sometimes... You just have to be where you are with it, you know, and it, it opens up for you. There's no, we all experience something different. Hi, Maria. We're happy to see you. Good morning to you. I'm happy that I, sh I can share it with you guys. And the only thing I remember is that Amberly was going through something and I started sharing. So, she, you're just busy, Don. Well, we love you. Know the term, my thoughts. I always think about you. Leah is awesome. I'm sure all your kids are awesome, but Leah is awesome. Oh, hugs to you, Dawn. You feel like you're breathing better? Oh, that's good. I used to get upper respiratory things. So, you know, you know the correlation with upper respiratory issues, right, Care? It's grief. It's the release of grief. So, um, if you can just allow yourself to be where you are and whatever comes up, let it go. I think it'll get better. Your son's graduating and you're moving next month? Where are you moving? Oh, in the same area. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, everybody's moving. Yeah, it's grief. One day, if we don't get into deep, one day when we get into deep place, I'll tell you my whole experience with upper respiratory and breathing and grief. Hey, love you guys. I hope you guys have a really wonderful crafty week. I don't know what we're going to do on Friday. Who knows? Maybe inspiration will strike me and will be something marvelously fabulous. Um, I'm going to finish my embellishment box. I'm working on it. I think I'm, I'm going to work on the cover of it. If you guys want to make along with me in one of these embellishment boxes, we could do a few sessions of it if anybody would like to learn how to cut out a book and do those sorts of things. Or just make one with. I had a lot of grief experiences, Kara. I'll definitely take us another time. I'll definitely do it. We love you, Scotty. Scotty, we're sending you so much healing love. And you too, Renee. And to our friend Mandy in Scotland, who's having spine surgery soon. I love you, Renee. Girl, take some time and enjoy you. You know, I'm sorry that you hurt your arm. Oh, uh, your your sickness start on the anniversary of your mother's death. Ooh. Oh, I love you guys. So I will see you guys on Friday. I don't know what I'm gonna do on Friday. I you guys, I feel like I feel like I'm kinda new, like kinda blank. That's why in the middle of the meditation I lost myself. It's like sometimes when I bring in all this energy in myself, because I'm bringing it in for me too, right? I just go mindless and I can't even remember where I am. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's not it's not it's just puts you in a different state. 
I love you guys. Give Oliver a big happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday to our Ollie. And happy birthday, Cassandra. Happy birthday, Carrie. And happy birthday, Debbie. And know that I love you. And as always, girls, post your stuff in our Facebook group. Um, send me your power pack. And if you're going to, if you may be a little late in sending it, let me know so that I can, you know, save out some cards for you. And I love you guys. Girls, I love you, love you, love you. Good night, Miss Scotch. We love you, Scotch. And sometimes you say the wrong potato. Sister, if I told you, when I get into this state, I go completely blank. Completely and absolutely blank. So sometimes it's hard to recall the words. All right, I love you guys. Big, huge hugs. I'll see you on Friday, okay? And I think, I don't know if Stacy's on tonight, but Pink Poodle Craft, she may de be, hang on over, head on over there. Maridel Abrams, you guys go over and show her some love. Make sure you tell her I sent you. I do. I can feel it. I feel your love, Cheryl. And I love you right back. You guys all have a peaceful night. Bye, cat. Love you. Big hugs. All right, girls. See you Friday. From my heart to your heart, always. So, so, so much aloha. See you on Friday.